Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in a while and I've been MIA, but I do plan on coming back and posting more for you guys. Today we are at the LA Auto Show and I'm super excited because last time I was here was probably like two or three years ago. So I'm super excited to see what they have in store today and bear with me. I am still trying to get used to recording in public. I just want to say for the people who clicked on my video, I know it's been a while that I've uploaded and if you are watching this right now on your screen, I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for just being still subscribed and still watching my videos. It, I truly, truly, truly want to say thank you uh, for still being there even though, you know, I haven't been uploading, but I do plan on being more consistent. I'm super excited. Just go ahead and go inside and see all the cars. This is his camera. It's probably a better version of what I got. This is, I just wanted to show my friend's brand. It's the Speed Shop if you want to check out his shirts. Uh, he has a lot of cool designs. Check out his brand. We are going to go inside now. I don't remember what the process is like getting in, but we'll see. So we just got inside. This is um, what the, I'm guessing the main lobby looks like. You can tell they took their time with it and it's really, really cool. If you look, it even has like a screen inside there. It looks like there's like some type of like fridge in there, but super clean. I'm pretty sure this is all like hand painted. Definitely, they took their time. You could just tell it represents Chicanos and just the Hispanic culture, but it looks super, super nice. So, the first thing that caught my eye in here is this truck. I'm not too sure if it's electric or like what, but it just looks super badass. The hood looks fucking cool, the wheels. Just the paint job is really cool. The interior looks super, oh, if it focuses, it's super, super, super nice. I don't, this is really clean. I have no clue. I, I don't see, I'm not, I don't know anything about this truck other than it's a Toyota, but I don't know. If I were to see this on the road, I would think this is really, really badass. And I feel like if you ever, if people wanted to slam it, that would be really cool too. So I guess this is what it is. It's a 24 Tacoma X Runner concept. It just looks super just badass off the bat. Hopefully it focuses. But it's saying it's going to have 421 horsepower. It's going to be a 10 speed automatic transmission. It just looks badass. What else? Lead runner, built team. Yeah, if I were to see this on the road and you know, they try to race me, I don't know, it's gonna be a fun little race. Okay, here she is, the main event, <laughs> at least for me. I wanted to see, uh, so this is gonna be the new GTR. And they did, it did pretty much looks the same, but they added, um, the hood looks a little different. I feel like there's a lot of aer aero aspects on it. I wish they would have put it on the floor because I'm gonna have to really stick my hand up to film it, but I don't know. I really want a GTR, hence why I'm posting, I'm trying to post more YouTube videos, but yeah, it pretty much looks the same. I have not read into what they've updated on this. So I don't know, but oh, the, Definitely, this looks super crazy. I'm sorry I'm so short, but it looks super crazy. I wish it, like I said, I wish they would put it on the floor instead of up on this thing, but yeah, I don't know. This is the classic uh, look. It just looks like a lot of stuff is going on and the wing just, just doesn't look like it matches in my opinion, but I don't know. The taillights are just original. But I don't know, I'm not crazy about it. I'm sure when I see one on the road, I'm probably gonna go crazy because it's a GTR in general. But yeah, I'm not, not, not too, too fan of what they did up there in the back. It's just a lot of stuff is going on and I don't think they needed to do that. And then right here, they have some 
Do 40 tell lies? I'm not too sure why they have a bunch of stuff on here, but I'm sure there's a reason why. By entering this area, you, oh, I don't know. I'm honestly not a fan of any of their trucks. I don't know. I just don't think they're original. Like, for example, this one, it just looks like a um, Tacoma. And then it's really cool, sidetrack, but I guess you get ride-alongs in them. Which, two years ago, I don't think these were available. So it's really cool that now they're able to um, offer people the chance to experience a car like that. And they, if you look at them, they look like they're just having the absolute time of their lives. Oh, there's, I guess there's many at a time going. That's pretty cool though. So here we have the IS500 and it's gonna be it's a V8 and it makes 472 horsepower. This is really cool. As soon as I walked over here, it just looks super super nice. I have a, a Lexus right now and I would not mind trading it in for one of these. It just looks kind of like the new BMW. Uh, it just looks very aggressive and I don't know, I just think it looks super super dope. And with 472 horsepower, you're gonna definitely have a lot of fun with this car. Let's look at the back. Oh, yeah. It looks really, really clean. Honestly, it would not even do anything else to it. I really like everything about it. The diffuser. Oh, yeah. That's really, really nice. Oh, someone stole the fucking gear select? Yeah, they broke it. Someone either broke it or they stole it. Or I guess, no, they wouldn't. Oh yeah, someone went in here and fucking went to town. So this basically looks like my Lexus. Obviously, like, I don't got the camera. Um, the seats feel fucking nice. They feel like they're very sturdy. Mine are just leather and they're like nasty, but for like, 472 horsepower this is a cute little car but no this this is pretty mighty i would honestly really really um want one of these oh i didn't even notice and it has a little sunroof how cute what else is in here i'm like looking around i don't even know how to open this Ugh, honestly i don't want to break it i don't even know oh. okay that's i guess enough space what is this for i honestly don't know what i honestly don't know what this is for Maybe it's for the screen. What is this for? That's a trackpad. That's how you control that. Oh, what the hell? So you, you can control it. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I'm not really a fan of these ones because what if you accidentally like... I don't know, it's just weird, but I really, really like it. It feels super fucking nice. Okay, here's another Lexus, but these are really cool. These really fascinate me. Like, it's the, really the little things. And yeah, it's like... Damn, it's pretty snug in there. Oh, I didn't even know it's the carbon fiber uh, rooftop. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of this one. It just reminds me of like a Miata and it just looks very awkward. It just kind of looks unfinished to me. But it's the LC500. I don't know, I just think it looks kind of like awkward. I don't know, I'm not, not, not a huge fan. I really, really like that Lexus. She's the beauty right there. This just looks like super elegant. It's the Corvette Z06. Carbon fiber wing. Dude, the back just looks super mean. It kind of looks like it has horns. It looks, so, oh my god, I'm, I actually really, really like this one. It just looks super mean and badass. Look at those wheels, carbon fiber wheels. Like, this probably fucking cost a, like a house. The interior is super nice. It has like, kind of like a beige interior. Oh, I wish I get closer, but the cockpit, it kind of looks like a cockpit in there when you're driving. But yeah, it looks like the seats are just... They look like you would probably just be seated really, really super snug in there. They just start at 127000 So, if you want to buy a house, just don't even think about it. Right, Mammy's now very excited. 
I'm super excited for this section, the Subaru section. Oh my god, I miss my Subaru so much. I promise I will get one again because I absolutely love them, but uh, I had to catch on fire. But oh my god, I miss driving one so bad. Driving manual in general, uh, I really miss, but this one's fucking crazy. I even miss how they sound too. But look at this. <laughs> Man, even that, even looking at that steering wheel, I just miss my car so bad. That's a giant fucking screen on that bitch. Uh, it looks so nice with the Recaro seats. So nice, so nice. I honestly don't know the price of these. Look at the back. Yeah, the back seats look pretty much how my Subi ones looked. I just realized that this is actually fake carbon fiber. How dare they? Even right here on the steering wheel, it's fake. Which is kind of disappointing. I mean, why do you even have to do that? But yeah, this is pretty much like the same. It's like being in my Subaru again, but without the screen. Which it would have been nice to have the, the screen. Okay, so this is the Prelude. It's a hybrid. And it has Brimble brakes on it. They're uh, pretty fucking nice. It looks like carbon fiber. Um, side skirts. Oh, I really like that little door handle. Ooh, this kind of gives me like, kind of like the new um, Prius vibes or even like Porsche vibes too. But oh my god, I actually really, really like it. Wow. It's really, really nice. I wonder how much it's going to be. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But it looks fucking super, super dope for a prelude. And here is the Type R. These are really fucking fire, honestly. I really like this car. Let's look at the inside. Very spacious in there. I don't know if you can see, but the interior looks fucking super, super nice. Like, look at that. Oh, I wish I could drive it. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. The LA Auto Show will be closing in 15 minutes. We'll be closing in 15 minutes. Please make your way towards the exit. Get home safe and have a great rest of your night. Thank you. Yeah, this thing is really fucking cool. It kind of reminds me of like a CTSV, but they did a really good job on this. It has kind of like the little, of the small, like wide body kind of flares. But yeah, I honestly really, really like this car too. A lot of cars really shock me here. This car looks fucking super cool. Oh. Dude, look at this thing. This looks like a million bucks, honestly. She is so nice. Pretty. I wonder how much, how much are these, how much are these, Andrew? That, more than both of us can afford. Oh my God, that's my whole. No, I don't even have a net worth. <laughs> this is the um, McLaren. Uh, definitely. The GT3 RS is bad. And then we have the Jeep. This looks fucking nice. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, damn, that paint is fucking shiny. And then we just have a regular little truck. <laughs> I see this car everywhere. I don't know whose it is, but it's nicely done with the bright seats. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my god. We only have like seven minutes left in here, but look at all these. We missed this whole yeah, section. <laughs> and yeah, they're kicking us out already. And we haven't even looked at we spent like 10 minutes looking at the mom cars. Uh, we're not even looking at these ones over here, but look at this Porsche. Oh, look, look at this gem. This shit just stands out. This is also, fucking badass. Or not shitty paint, that's just. I want to get close to it. Oh 
yeah, this is badass. Oh, he said it's 1300 horsepower. Oh my god. Ooh, bikes. Motorcycle bike. Okay. <laughs> we finally made it back to the car. The LA Auto Show is a wrap for this year. Kind of wish we went a little earlier, especially like during the day. Um, just because like I feel like we got like less than an hour to look at the cars and that that's our fault for coming, I guess close to closing now we are gonna go since we're in la like in the area um we're gonna go to dobrik's pizza and we're gonna go ahead and try it hopefully the line is not too long it's a what was it a third wednesday yeah it's a wednesday so hopefully there's no people getting pizza right now we don't go to this part of town no. because you're like as you can see it's fucking 8 30 and there's fucking traffic everywhere people don't know how to drive people are constantly honking people don't know where they're going too i don't know where i'm going and fucking everyone just has anger issues i have anger issues okay <laughs> but we are seven minutes away from dobrik's pizza and hopefully there's no line so we're here dobrik's I don't know if we pizza Ooh, we might actually have to not wait in line but here we are. Damn, this is a tight fucking squeeze. This is what Dude, this is what LA is like. Fuck? Yeah, there's no fucking room to go anywhere. I don't think my truck can make this turn. No, you can't. Cause this truck fucking pulled up right here. So he's gonna try I'm, I'm hungry. slice. Oh yeah, wait, I got pepperoni. It looks fucking red on camera because of the light. We got um chicken cheese. Let's see if it's fresh or not. Give me a rate out of ten. It looks like there's not a lot of cheese on that bowl. It's got a good crunch. Okay. It tastes like garlic bread with pizza sauce and cheese. So it's what's, good. What, what's the rating? I'll know after I'm done. It's good. So far, I'm going to say it's good. Thick. Okay, so I got the pepperoni. They do smell fucking really bomb. Yeah, sorry for the color. We're next to some red lights, but... And uh, and it is pretty fucking thick. It so is it thick. looks pretty fire, but... Doughy. I honestly don't even see cheese on this bitch. Like I just see sauce, but I guess look at this. This whole chunk is sauce, and I don't like sauce a lot. But look, this whole thing is just like look, just a pound of sauce, and there's no cheese on this hoe. It's kind of a bad sign, Bean. I don't know, but try let's it. let's try it. So it does taste like honey. Honestly, mm, I would say it's good, but it just needs more cheese. So I would probably give it like a, like a like an eight. But it definitely needs more cheese, but it's really good because of the crust. The, 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 the bread is really nice, yeah. Yeah, the crust is really good. So I know it's her channel, but it is doughy. I like the dough. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice crunch to her, but it literally tastes like like Texas toast, but pizza. I don't know if that's what he's going for, but it's good. It's got a nice crunch. I don't know, the more I bite into it, I really kind of like it. I think it's a nine, but it just needs cheese. Like there's yeah, no, looks like there's it has no, no cheese. cheese. It's just sauce and pepperoni. Yeah, like mine at least has cheese. Well, I mean, for cheese pizza, you would hope that, but I genuinely can't see any cheese on hers. But it's kind of like spicy. I don't know if it's because of pepperoni, but it's fire. Well, yours I'm is like hot lie. honey pepperoni or something. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of nine out of ten. It's kind of fire. I would come back. The, to me, it tastes like mall pizza. It's good mall pizza, but it's mall pizza. <laughs> All right, so I finished my first slice. It's good. It really falls apart at the end. I don't like the the actual crust. The bread, it's good itself, but on its own with this burnt cheese at the tip. It's not fire. You'll see when you get there. It's it, it's good, and I really do like doughy pizza like this. But um, would I drive an hour to come get it again? Probably not. So I actually got to a piece that might be a little raw. I don't care because I actually like my pizza a little uncooked. But if you see how thick it is there compared to here, it's because there's a fat blob of cheese, and so it just falls apart. And it didn't look like it cooked or fluffed up. 
Like, I still liked it, <laughs> but mm -hmm. it is like how thin it is. Oh. Like, a little bit of it broke off, but it's definitely uh, like raw in that section. Just just a, a tad. I'm trying okay. to show you how little cheese that's there all is. The, that's all the cheese they gave me right here. Oh, uh, there's some on this side, but yeah, like down down towards the tip. Dude, they gave me a pound of sauce. Look at this. Oh, there's just, cheese it's just under there. Sauce, it's sauce, very sauce. thin, though. Mm. Damn, that shit looks greasy as shit. Well, I'm finally back home. I just want to say thank you guys for watching the video. My dog's drinking water right now <laughs> in the background. But um, I just want to say thank you guys. Um, if you watched till the end, thank you guys for watching all of it and let me know what was your favorite car um and also what you guys thought of that gtr um, that i showed in the video also i do want to start posting more vlogs so um i do plan on being more consistent with that and hopefully up uploading more consi consistently but yeah once again um i want to say appreciate every single one of you guys who watches my videos and have still been subscribed to me after so many months of not uploading hope you guys have a great day don't forget to like the video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe and share <laughs> um again thank you guys for watching see you in the next video she just turned one year old and he's the biggest pain in the butt ever I don't think I've ever showed him. No, I have showed him on my on my YouTube. But yeah, he's a year old now, so he's freaking huge. Um, and he is a menace, and he misbehaves, and he chews everything, and he will just you know cause chaos. But he is a happy little boy. Oh puppy. The kitty. Oh my. God. <laughs> I'm scared.